Good afternoon, good afternoon everyone. Coming before you for yet another wonderful um, devotional today. It's two in a row today, isn't it? Well, i uh, got some time to make up for it. <laughs> uh, in Psalms 56, uh, the psalm which is a call for God's protection. If you look at the 11th verse of Psalm 56, the Bible says, In God I put, I will and I and God I put it in God I trust I will not fear what can man do to me so let me read that again for the third time in God I trust I will not fear what can man do to me that's a big statement because a lot of time, trust is a big issue, isn't it? Don't you know? Don't you find yourself having trust issues? Um, and usually, it's because of what people have done to us in the past. Um, experiences in life challenges our ability to be able to trust. And when you've been done wrong, and you've been um, taken advantage of your niceness or kind, of, you know, you, you hear the the, the statement: um, "People mistake my kindness for weakness." And so, and then we live in a dangerous world, a world that takes advantage of the innocence of kids, the innocence of human beings. They, they got schemes and all kind of different um, um, ways of uh, to even some of us, and, and a lot of them are legal. You know, just for instance, the the debt and, and being able to get a credit card for free and charge the credit card up and and ruin our credit, and we're not able to purchase cars and and homes and and, and meaningful things that help to save our life. Uh, all of these are um, uh, avenues and, and, and components that lessens our ability to be able to trust our fellow man. We, we, we fail to be able to trust, um, for instance, commercials, uh, the government, uh, people, our family member. It's difficult to trust people. But that's why we have to put our trust in God. When we put our gut, trust in God, then we're able to give people a break because people are not perfect. And even though people make mistakes, we're able to kind of see through the fact of their mistake and to give them another chance. And maybe even another chance and another chance. But the bottom line is, is that the bottom, the foundational component is, is that we have to be able to have um, the ability to trust God. If we can't put our trust in God, then we 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 won't be able to uh, um, um, put up with man's and its in uh, in 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 mankind's imperfection. Now, there's some um, interesting thing in Psalms 57. It says, uh, "It says, be gracious to me, God. Be gracious to me, for I take refuge in you. I will seek refuge in the shadows of your wings until danger pass." And then, and that's the thing is that. If we trust in God, if we um, rely on God, if we rely on His, on the knowledge, and the knowledge is from His Word, it'll help us to be able to to be protected. Um, our feelings will be protected. Our um, our decisions will be protected. Our uh, disposition will be protected. Um, the way we deal with things, the way we think about things, will be protected because. Uh, relying on God allows us um, to to have a security blanket from um, the doubt. Because when we doubt and when we have a mindset of insecurity, when we're insecure, that's when we make bad decisions. And you know, usually countries go to war when they're insecure. You know, oh, the neighbor, my neighbor. So look at Pharaoh. Remember Pharaoh in, um, within in, in Egypt? He said. Um, this people, we got to get control of them. You know, we got to get control of the, the Hebrews before uh, they might come um, plot with our enemies and overtake us So and leave. And so um, a lot of times that's the source of insecurity is is a source of us making bad decisions. Um, insecurity throughout our life, different things. We, we make relationship insecurities uh, causes us to make bad decisions. Um insecurity in our monies when we, we 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 feel insecure and feel like this person have a better car than me so i go and i 
and I get a brand new car instead of just saving my money up and getting a car that I can afford or paying a car for cash. Uh, insecurity make us buy clothes and insecurity makes some people not eat so they can be skinny, so they can be approved by man. But the thing about it is, is that all these things are the enemy. They're the enemy of us. They're the enemy of God. God loves you. He loves you just the way you are. It doesn't matter what anybody else think about you. God loves you, and that's the most important thing. And God will protect you. He will, he will, he, will, um, he can restore your confidence. He can um, give you a foundation to um, believe that you are special. No matter what anybody else thinks or feels, God knows he made you. You're great. You're, you're a survivor. You're you're. You're, you're a great product of uh, this environment. You're, you're a great agent to uh, change agent to make the world a better place. And it's because of you that somebody else um, uh, feels special. It's because of you that someone else has resources. Because all of us are important to somebody. Somebody loves us. If nobody else loves us, somebody loves us. And we mean something to someone's life. So I'll tell you today. If nobody else told you, I love you very much, I feel like you're the best person on the earth. And I feel like you're very beautiful and you're very special. And you're going to be somebody, no matter what anybody else say. I believe that because God said it. God don't make no mess. And therefore, uh, today, just take uh, this to heart and to mind and realize that your refuge is in the shadows of of the Lord and he will protect you in his wings. Psalms 57 and Psalms 56. Remember, trust in God and don't fear what a man or a woman or anyone can do to you. You be blessed. Have a wonderful day.